All right, you see the title? You got like a minute 30 to get something rolled up. I'm going to go ahead and do the same. I might have to censor that, given that, you know, the minute. Start the timer. I got you. Some of you might be wondering why I don't just drop like a rolling tutorial. Bro, I've made so many. Look, boom, 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 boom. Check that out. I've, I've done it before. Eventually, I'll do a new one for y'all, like a whole big video. It'll be sick, but I don't want to do that yet. That's a lot of work. You know what I do want to do? Just roll something up and talk to you. Yeah, that's really all this video is. We're going to kick it. I'm going to throw some clips in from stream. I'm going to answer questions, things of that nature. And it'll all be accompanied by how much time we got left. You got a couple seconds. So it's been a while since my last upload, and the reason for that is because I was nervous. Now, I don't know, there's a lot of new folk around here. I do not know you guys. Y'all probably don't know me either. You think I'm a Dark Souls player. <laughs> the goal of this video, I want you to walk away from it feeling like you just had a sesh with your dudes, right? I want you to click off this video and be like... The rest of the day. That's, that's really the vibe here. Let's light this up. Get to know each other a little bit. If you want to know how I do that little flick thing, I'm not going to tell you. Cheers. Daddy Potter bought some I was just checking for boogers quick because I got to do the zoom in. I don't want. Cheers, for real. Daddy Potter bought some so now that we got this lit, let me introduce myself. My name is Chris, right? I'm 24 years old, an ex-Culver's employee, ex-gymnastics coach. I dropped out of college my junior year after being a Division One athlete for th those three years, but I fucked my back up, so now I just be smoking weed professionally. I got some questions though, right? I asked y'all to ask me questions because I'm not a YouTuber if I don't have a Q&A. But this ain't a Q&A. Don't think of it as a Q&A. This is a smoke with the guy. First question. Yeah. Ow. Bro, it's 3.50 a.m. My downstairs neighbors hate me. We'll continue answering questions, but I got a, I got a nice little hash rosin and chocolate bar I was saving for this specific moment. It's got like coffee bean and sea salt on its ass. All right, well, it was only 100 milligrams, but all edibles are different, bro. Like, I've had 500 milligram chocolate bars that have just made me feel a little sleepy, but I've also had, like, 50 milligram gummies that made me almost pee myself, so. How are you feeling post-edible, Chris? My esophagus is sleepier than normal. Other than that, I'm chilling. Hell yeah. I got a digestive health soda. Oh, <laughs> this shit is vintage cola flavor. It tastes like it tastes like Pepsi missed a couple days of practice. I don't know, like you know, they have cola school, and Pepsi was just late a couple days. He missed a couple lessons. That's what this tastes like. Which is your fave stuffed animal in your house? That's a that's a great question. I got you. I mean, the real answer is my Chuck E. Cheese Squishmallow, but I can't find that, so I got my Hollow Knight and my Ludicolo. I'd say these guys are pretty cool. Which body part of yours would you give up first, given that you had to chop something off in order to survive? Now we're talking. See, I can, I can answer this. Butt cheek, easy. Well, okay. How does this hypothetical work? Am I gonna die of blood loss, like? Is it one of those situations or do I just like clean chop my ass cheek off and then we move on with life? Cause I'm not saying fingers or toes, hands, arm, nothing like that. Nothing I use daily. I mean, I guess I use my butt cheeks daily. I'm using my butt cheeks right now to think about, but if I didn't have butt cheeks, I could still sit. Like there would still be something there. I'm gonna lock in on butt cheek. Is that cool with you? Left butt cheek, final answer. Perfect. Does it annoy you that all these questions are weed related? I haven't even answered the weed questions yet. Um, can we talk about weed for a sec? 
unpopular opinion, I like it. When it comes to weed content on the internet, I feel like it's all hyper focused on the weed. I just don't want to be a weed tuber who makes content about weed and nothing else. I want y'all to focus on me. I'm an attention slut. But you know, I want weed to be the side character, right? I'm going to probably smoke in almost every YouTube video I will post. But not every YouTube video will be about weed. I've already talked about this before in one of my past videos. Now I'm going to complain about stoners. I've been making weed related content on the internet for a couple years now, and I have learned that Stoners like to be angry a lot. Even in the comments of my most recent video, there's people arguing about whether greening out exists or not. Does it matter? Everyone wants to be the best smoker. Everyone wants to be smoking the loudest. I can outsmoke you, bro. Okay, super neck. Okay, mega throat. You're not flexing, you're just telling everyone your throat can handle it more than ours. Like, imagine drinkers flexing who's got the strongest alcohol ain't nobody give a shit just drink more get hammered or maybe i'm just complaining a lot you know what let me slip into something more comfortable i'm stressed out hold on give me a sec see in conclusion to whatever the fuck i was saying before i was comfortable because i forgot already i'll be real with you um i love weed but it's not the only thing I want to talk about. It's nothing worth getting angry over, and it's definitely not something y'all should be arguing about. What are some other games you'd consider for the You Die Get High format? Uh, I'm not doing Dark Souls 3. I'm sorry to say, I know y'all loved the Dark Souls 2. Thank you for showing love to that again. Y'all are sick. Uh, but no, I'm not doing it for 3. I just, I just finished up Dark Souls 3. I was playing it on stream. Here's some clips. <laughs> That'll teach him. That'll show him. Get in! Get in! Finish him! First try. Easy ass video game. I've never had a difficulty with any video game ever. I'm very careful. I'm very careful. Uh, I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. You fucking dick. Oh my god! No, firebombs suck in this game. Why the blue ass? I'm gonna choke you until you hate me like you love me! Low key wanna date me when you fuck me. Shut up! I'm gonna change it, nigga. I already said that! What the hell are you doing, buddy? I'm gonna have to call a big load of shenanigans right there. Chill out, weird sir. What? Then he called me a slave? Well, that is me. What? Wasn't that fun? I just wanted to kind of play that and enjoy it on my own time, you know? I am going to be doing a Get High, You Die for Bloodborne. I'm doing a Smoke Em On Nuzlocke right now. Nuglock if you will you know uh i might do like kush bandicoot explain this image what's your favorite phase of the moon waffling gabbit i don't remember what they are i know i know there's a waning gibbous that's real that's the one i remember well like full moon i know that i'm not a fucking amateur full moon crescent moon waxing waning are those the i know them all best hollow knight boss Good question. I like that game a lot. Probably my favorite game. I'd say the best boss is Soul Tyrant. I, l I love him. I don't know what it is about him. I think he's good. I like his body. Not sexual. I like like the shape. Of I'm gonna get a tattoo of him probably. I don't have any tattoos yet. I'm naked. Well, I'm clothed. 
I'm tatless rather. I want to get like a hunter hunter tattoo. I want to get a tattoo related to a turtle. I just want to get stuff on my body. I just have yet to do that. Why? You ask? Oh, I don't even have a fucking car. You worry about some damn tattoos, bro. <laughs> What's the craziest thing you've ever made or want to make into a bomb? I've smoked out of a lot of bullshit. I've made a whole video out of it, right? Um, I also have this command on my Twitch chat. Let me... So I... Oh, all the words popped up there. Shit. <laughs> Here's a list of things I've smoked out of in alphabetical order. We've got apple, broccoli, burrito, cake donut, cantaloupe, chicken nugget, corn on the cob, corn dog, cosmic brownie, crunch wrap, cucumber, eclair, egg, garlic knot, grape, grapefruit, hard boiled egg, hot dog, hot dog bun, jalapeno, lemon, lime, mango, onion peel, orange, pear, pepper, pickle, pineapple, plantain, potato, pumpkin, rice krispie treats, spam, squash, strawberries, string cheese, sushi roll, taquito, tomato, zebra cake, zucchini. I've done a lot of those on camera. In the three years I've streamed, I've, just, I've done copious amounts of bullshit live. Is copious the right word? I don't know. There have been a lot of big words I've been saying lately, and I'm not sure if they're like proper. I've just been throwing miraculous in. Well, that's not a big word at all. I know what miraculous means. I've been throwing around like, I can't think of a single big word right now. Like I, I could think of one, <laughs> like, damn. I know what you're thinking. Damn, he's high as hell. No, I'm stupid, idiot. It's different. Another thing, let me complain again. Here's a pet peeve of mine. When I smoke weed and get high, right? Why are you, as a human being, being like, yo, dude, you're so fucking high right now? No shit, wiener nuts. That not that the point? Isn't that why we did the action that we did? It okay, picture this. Imagine I drink a fuck ton of water. Would you come up to me while I'm drinking that and be like, damn, I bet you're so quenched. I bet you're so satisfied you're no longer thirsty huh you don't need to point out the results of what what we're doing you're just making me nervous okay that joint went out should i roll up again yeah i'm gonna roll up again in the meantime watch these twitch stream highlights wait can you get one in my mouth i'm doing with my eyes closed <laughs> wait did that hit you in the eye <laughs> wait you're from here <laughs> Sing the national anthem. I like zebras the most out of them. I don't think camels are the same. Camels aren't equine. What the fuck is a camel? Is that just a beast? Fuck's a camel. <laughs> Dude, don't look up fuck's a camel. Here you go. Take some meat. You know what? Take two. Huh? Hey, thanks, Papa. I got you. Oh, it's already here. cooked too. You're a fucking legend, mate. Oh, <laughs> Chris never. E I eat pussy. What is this? Who is lying on my name? Why would you say that about me? Chris is Batman. Batman eats pussy then. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> so loud. It's so gas. <laughs> is this real? <laughs> they were shaking that shit, I guess. What mustache? Before you hairy ass niggas come in and say, What mustache? You call that a mustache? Shut the fuck up, you genetically modified bitch. You came out the womb hairy as fuck. You made your mom's pussy itch for two years. That look dangerous. You think I land it? Oh my god. Oh my god! The most slidable thing I've ever seen. Hit it. Oh shit. Oh.
Did you like it? I should have made that shit longer, huh? I'm not done rolling up yet. I'll be real, I just sneaked off to the bathroom. I, I haven't even started rolling up. I th I don't know the questions y'all asked off the top of my head, but I think someone asked something about games I'm looking forward to. Fucking Tears of the Kingdom, dude. Yakuza 8, or Like a Dragon 8, pardon. Hollow Knight Silk Song, of course. That's coming out soon, right? Tekken 8, Animal Well seems pretty cool. The new Outlast game. There's a lot of exciting looking video games coming, dude. I don't know. Another flick. Care? Betty Potter bought some <laughs> Isn't she lovely? You think I could do the flick while it's lit? Check me out. Yeah, of course I can. Any tips for quitting nicotine? Yeah. Stop it. Kidding, I'll get serious. I vaped for a long time, right? I, well, I'm not scared to admit it, even though that shit is, you know. I bought my first vape when I was in France. Bonjour. So I was seven years ago, some shit like that. And I quit nine months ago, some shit like that. So it's been a while, but the story of me quitting goes like this. I was walking around Minneapolis back when I still lived there, you know, just thin down on a poof stick, whatever the fuck you call vapes nowadays. While I was walking, you know, it's a, it's a downtown area. There's a bunch of people walking around, all, all walks of life, doing all sorts of things. There was an old man, probably like 75, almost 80, maybe. He was limping along, he had a cane and shit, and he also had a vape in his other hand. It wasn't, it wasn't like a, a cool poof chuncher like I had, you know. His old ass had a box mod. Presumably he was quitting cigarettes, you know, which good on you, man. If you're that old quitting cigarettes, you, 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 you got life ahead of you, right? I don't fuck with cigarettes personally. I don't fuck with tobacco at all. A lot of people ask, you smoke blunts? You put, you grab a, I don't, no, I, I like joints. I just smoke flour. But yeah, he looked like a fucking dork sucking on that vape. His old ass, he looked kind of lame. And I was thinking, damn, is that going to be me someday? I mean, I might look lame at 80 years old smoking weed, but that's different. That's way different than sucking robot dick. But yeah, seeing that old man hitting his vape was enough to make me walk up to the nearest garbage can and throw mine away. I looked at him and said, damn, bro, I don't want to be like you. <laughs> this sounds kind of mean, but really, I just got the ick. I don't like saying that. No offense to you, sir. I guarantee you're a wonder from wonder. I bet you're wonderful, and I bet you're wonderful. You know, I bet you're both of them. And honestly, if it weren't for him, I would still be vaping. I would still be chooping down on pooch sticks. So, shout out you, bro. Y'all feel old ever? You, I bet I can make you feel old right now. Check this out. Spacemans do like to gaze up at the stars. He dreamed of floating with them in his spaceman car. And when he touched down, he couldn't believe his eyes. All of his body parts started floating by. <laughs> That's something me and my homeboy used to say back when that commercial aired 13 years ago. Right? Shit like that makes me feel old. Or is it nostalgia? Well, nostalgia... Nostalgia's a bitch, right? I've been getting nostalgic for a lot of things lately. I'll smell something in the air. I'll, I'll see something that brings me back to some shit my mom showed me when I was a kid or some some food I had at my auntie's house when I was younger. And it, it makes me emotional. I don't know if it's a happy emotion or a sad emotion, but I just kind of sit there and go like... For a little bit. I'm not trying to get like existential and deep or nothing, but I think the reason nostalgia is making me feel so sad lately and like scaring me a little bit is because I feel like, or I fear rather, I'm not making enough memories right now. I do my daily then go to sleep type shit. And maybe it's time to switch that up, I don't know. I'm 24 with three herniated discs in my spine and I listen to jazz music and shit. 
they're gonna put my ass in a house soon i already know oh some cool shit i did this is kind of unrelated to anything in three hours i have officially deleted twitter for a week that app was damaging me a lot i don't know what it was maybe it was the hatred that everyone spread Twitter's a different, you know, you know Twitter, bro. You know what I'm talking about. It's good to take a break from that app. I highly recommend it. It felt good. There are some days I wake up, hop on Twitter, and I just get angry for the rest of the day. Like, it, it ruins my whole day at like 7 a.m. sometimes. So I knew I had to take a break, and I'm glad I did. Like, in my current state, I could hop on Twitter, see some dog shit take about how fucking... Mr. Beast's Squid Game video was homophobic, and I wouldn't even get angry about it. That shit probably was homophobic. Mr. Beast freak ass. I don't got a problem with him like the rest of people do. I got a problem with him for different reasons. Mr. Beast, listen here, buddy. You kind of smile like a beaver, but it's endearing. We both have the similar smile pattern. Our upper lip just disappears when we... Like, we both have that Chester ass smile, you know? And I don't like you because you kind of jacking my shit. I started the whole smiling like that wave. Ain't we the same age, bro? That's so fucked up. We're the same age. Bro, you're like a bagillionaire. I gotta start curing blind people or some shit. I couldn't have a billion dollars, bro. I don't know. I feel like I become a bad person. I don't think that's even too crazy to say. Not bad person in the conventional billionaire sense. Like I wouldn't become a like Elon Musk type of bad person. I'd be worse. I would be floating around in like some cool ass UFO I built. I'd be shooting lasers at people for fucking fun. I'd bring back dinosaurs, put them into major cities, just see what happens. I don't plan on becoming a billionaire ever, so don't worry. But if I did, <laughs> you'd be fucked. You're at the gas station going on a road trip. What donut you grabbing? You grabbing donuts at the gas station? Like that's your go-to? I don't know, bro. Me, I'm getting an Arizona, like mucho mango, preferably. Maybe some fucking corn nuts. Some shit like that. <sighs> Airhead sourful. Good ass candy. If you haven't tried it, I just put you on. I absolutely promise. What's your favorite game and what's your favorite game while high? Are they different? No. Do your favorites differ from when you're high and sober? Cause if I like some shit when I'm sober, I'm probably just gonna like it a little more when I'm high. I don't know. Like when people ask me, dude, what's your favorite munchie snack? It's just my favorite fucking snack or food. I like jollof rice. That's probably my favorite munchie. I would eat a bunch of jollof rice right now. I'll be real with you. I don't really got anything else to say, I don't think. I gotta record um, the other Chris now, post-edible Chris. I just want ramen. Maybe I should take a dab first, hold on. A lot of people think I only smoke flour. I smoke rosin, I got, I got some hash on deck, don't worry. dude i hope this wasn't too long just know i got some cool shit coming soon how soon hopefully sooner than this video came out you know that's my goal for sure but yeah this was fun it was fun to just sit down and fucking talk to you even though you haven't seen this yet you're gonna well you have if you're here be sure to like the video and subscribe dude subscribe for sure here's the graph you know much love dude catch you later